Hey guys, this is going to be a leopard gecko care video. Um, I know there's a lot of other videos out there like this, but I figured I'd make one of my own um, see if it helps anyone a little better than some of the others. Um, the main basic things you need to keep your leopard gecko alive is the water bowl, the calcium bowl, a source of heat, and a hide. Um, the water bowl, you don't want it to be too deep so that the, your gecko won't get stuck in there and drown. But, um, that's, that's a pretty good size right there. Um, the calcium bowl, you just, you need the calcium because your leopard gecko's bones will get stronger as they take in more calcium. And it'll just help them be a lot healthier. <clears throat> and it's also good for your females if you're planning on breeding them because it helps them grow um, better f like more fertile eggs and the babies will be a lot healthier um, for the heat you can either use um, a lamp with a no just a normal house bulb or a heat bulb as you've seen in some of my other ones they're red uh, or you could use um, a heat mat which you can see going in right through the back there. It goes under his hide. Um, um, you mainly want to get the heat mat just because the, um, the gecko, leopard geckos take in their heat from their stomachs and it also will help them be able to digest the food that you give them. Um, they'll just go over it and it just helps them a lot better and then they'll be able to use the bathroom a lot easier. Um, for the hides, you you can either have two of them or, well, multiple ones or just one of them. I only have one for him um, just because I don't really have all that much space and I don't want to spend any more money on, um, on the hides because I'm going to be getting the rack soon. Um, uh, the heat, this is, um, one of the heat hide, like the hot hide, it um it has the heat mat underneath it. He, they just really like to um, go in and go in where it's dark because that's how they their natural habitat is. It's darker because they hide a lot during the day. So it's good to have that, and then he has the heat underneath it. Um, you can have the cool hide or multiple cool hides um, for if... He gets a little too hot in his warm hide and he wants to go cool off. He can go in there. Um, right here is a humidity box. It doesn't really matter what you put in. You can use some kind of moss like I have in my um, a couple of my females for them to lay their eggs in. It works just as fine as paper towels. Um, or you can use the paper towels. You just need a little bit of water and then somehow it needs to get heat so that the condensation will build up in there and the geckos will be able to get a lot moist, like moister in there. Um, it's good for them to do that so that they can shed a lot easier. It helps them um, shed around their, uh, like their nails and stuff because if they don't come off easily and the shed gets stuck on there, they can, they can get it like a nub toe, which isn't really good. You want the best for your leopard geckos. So I use those. Um, for the bedding or substrate, I use paper towels because sand can can impact your geckos if they like get it into their stomach and then they'll die. Um, paper towels is just it's really easy to clean. You just fold it up and get some new paper towels, and it won't harm your leopard gecko. Um, for feeding your leopard gecko, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the little gap between his eyes that's about as wide as you want the um, the food source to be. Whether it's crickets or mealworms, superworms, sometimes waxworms people use. I use mealworms for the little babies and superworms for my adults. I do use crickets for two of them because they don't like the worms, but I stick to medium crickets. So he gets, as you can see, it's not very a big of a gap in between his eyes. So I give him just the littler superworms, that way he'll be able to um, swallow them a lot easier as well. So, yeah, that's, that's the basics that you need for the leopard geckos. 
Um, now, a lot of people do go crazy and get a whole bunch of different decorative things for their leopard geckos. Um, I don't do that because I'm breeding them. It's kind of hard to get all that stuff in all these cages. But um, I hope you guys liked it. I uh, hope it helped you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.